my phone. This is how it looks like. So like if you guys do this, this is how it's supposed to look. Guys, welcome back to my channel it's your girl Shiki and today I'm back again with another video if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe this is Shiki the fashion style of me. in today's video I'm gonna be making a jacket so y'all for this jacket this is literally what I'm gonna need if you're at home and then you're trying to you're trying to make the same jacket so this one is gonna be the outside of my jacket this fabric is super cool I really like it I like the flower and the uh, I'm gonna need this uh, satin so if you guys kind of pay attention, this is like shiny satin, and then I really like it because like it's gonna look, it's gonna look like kind of, you know, more like expensive type of thing inside, and then it's pretty decent. I really like this satin. So this is gonna be the inside of it, yeah. And then I also gonna need this um, polyester. So this one's gonna be in the inside of the jacket just to make it puffy, you know, and then. Yeah, there's also this one. This one is like the same type of thing, but this one is callable, so I can call this one. Like, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna need this. And then, yeah, I also gonna need, obviously, a zipper for the front. I'm gonna need elastic. I'm gonna need thread. I'm gonna need scissors, obviously. I'm gonna need, um, I'm going to need my patterns if you wonder how i got my patterns i just like took any any jacket i had at home and then just do the same thing just like trace it so like if you don't have a patterns you can just take any jacket at home just to like trace on your jacket or whatever like you know if you so you know what i'm talking about yeah this is the patterns when i do sewing I don't like wasting my fabric because it costs money, you know. One piece left because the jacket's going to need a zipper. And this is the front. This is where my zipper is going to be. So I need to leave like space in between. No, I'm going to take my chalk and I'm going to trace a line. <laughs> So yeah, I finished cutting the front with this fabric. This is how it looks like. As you all see it, you guys see the line. You guys see how much I left every side. This is like about like two and a half inch, and this one is like half or one. You don't have, you don't need much. And then the the bottom is like maybe one and a half inch or, or two. It's just like up to you, you know. Yeah. So like this is the front. So you're after cutting this is what I have as you guys see this is gonna be the back of my jacket it's the back of it so yeah this one you're supposed to get this one I do like it's literally the same process so I'm just gonna put my sleeve on the fabric I mean the patterns on the fabric now I'm going to trace the line hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here basically I'm just like going to trace the line again. So basically, I cut one sleeve. I'm going to go ahead and cut the other one so it can be two because we, we need two of them. So you guys, <clears throat> so you guys, this is what I have. I have my two sleeves. I'm just going to pull apart with the rest of it. Then for this fabric, I would say for now I'm done with this, so I'm just gonna pull this fabric apart. So guys, this is literally I did the same. I follow the same step as the one I did with the African fabric. So like, yeah. So I was just doing the same thing, honestly. So this is what I have. Like, I took this is gonna be the inside of the jacket. So like, I use the fabric the satin fabric just to cut all the pieces again so this is my bag that's my phone and this is the sleeve and yeah a little the same thing and now I'm gonna do the same thing with this other uh, polyester 
so yeah I just like to cut the front the back and the sleeve again with this so like if you make this jacket at home please make sure you get this one because it's like it's really important super amazing so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna do the same process again just cut all the piece the back the front and the sleeve facing each other like the right side is inside and then yeah they're just like literally facing each other like this then I put then my polyester gonna be on top just like this then now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and use my sewing machine I'm gonna sew just the bottom part that's my baby brother talking to me hey baby okay so hey Mickey Then I'm also doing the same thing to the back, just to place this the right side. I put the two right side facing each other on top. Now I will go to use the sewing machine to combine them just to sew the bottom part. So guys, now is the sleeve. For the sleeve, I'm not doing the same process because I won't have to flip it. So I'm just going to put my fabric normal on the table. Then I will put the polyester on inside of it. Then my outside jacket, I mean my inside jacket on top. It's like not the same process. I do this because I will go ahead and sew this part just to combine the three pieces together. Okay, now I'm going to use the sewing machine. So like just to combine the three pieces together, I will sew all uh, like the the top of the sleeve and the bottom of it. I'm going to do the same thing with both and I see you guys after. So guys, I finished sewing them together, like drawing all the pieces, all the pieces, all the piece. Anyway, so like I finished joining them together, as you guys can see. So for the sleeve, I just like noticed something, cause this one is the inside, so I don't want to sew this part. So I decided to just like combine the the white part and the African fabric together and stuff. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. And yeah, I literally did the same thing on both sides. And as the back and the front, so this is my back. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and and flip it. So the front and the back combining, super cool, eh? So yeah, and then the front part, I literally do the same thing. I just flip it since I sewed the bottom of it. I just like flip all my piece. It's literally starting making sense. So this is my phone. This is my phone. That's the inside part. Then this is my back. As you guys seeing it. And my sleeve are here. I'm gonna go ahead on my sewing machine then I will stitch the top of it the front and the back and let's see and then one thing I forgot to mention is that when you sew the top don't take this fabric don't take the inside of your jacket just like sew the white uh, polyester the polyester and the African fabric and the I mean the front of your fabric, don't take the inside of it, just these two. I finished sewing uh, the top of my jacket, this is like the front. So now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna divide, I need to divide. I need to make some length, so divide this by three. So I need to measure, I'm measuring like the whole thing and see, like this is 20. So 
by dividing this by okay if I do four 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 it's not gonna it's not going to work five five no it's not going to work either so I would do four and a half everywhere four and a half make a straight line I'm eventually tracing on the fabric somehow do the same thing with the other side and the back of it and also the sleeve so just divide this by four so like literally this is where I end up yesterday so now I have like all my lanes hopefully you guys can see all of that so I have like this is my front it's like two piece this is my two front and then I have the lanes as you guys can see all the lanes so I literally divide it by four by four even the back of even the back of it and then the sleeve I divide by three as you guys see three line I mean this, as you guys see it so the sleeve is divided by three and then the front and the back is divided by four so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead use my sewing machine just like kind of just um to sew to stitch like all the lines and yeah see you guys after this Okay, so like I finished like uh, you guys can't really see the thread because it's black, but yeah, I finished like um, stitch it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but yeah. So now what I'm gonna do, so, like you remember this um, polyester stuff too much, cause like you don't want your jacket to be like too puffy, you know. So like I'm just like going to put some inside as this. Like when I was making the uh, the previous jacket, like I really struggled to put this thing because like I somehow put like a lot and then my jacket was like too big and then I had to like reduce it and stuff and it wasn't like really easy like to see like to know what quantity to put but yeah you know like just put not so you guys, I finished putting the puffy thing in, inside, this is how it looks like. So like, you don't want to put like too much, so it's not like really puffy and big. It's kind of decent as this. So yeah, that's the inside of it now, and this is the outside, this is how it looks like. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do the same thing, because this one is my bag, I'm going to do the same thing with my front and the sleeve, and I'll see you guys after that. Literally the same thing. So you guys, I finished putting the puffy thing, I mean the polyester puffy, puffy kind of thing inside. So as, as you guys see it, it's not really like, it doesn't really look like puffy but like when you like fold it like this, it's kind of puffy and then like the puffy thing usually like gonna show when you wear it. So like now it's just like looking decent, it's not like as you guys see it, so yeah don't put too much so it's gonna be like, like I said, okay so. I'm talking too much so like what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna like um, use my pro finish sewing machine I mean my pro finish machine so I'm gonna like just like go and close all this part and just like while I'm closing it I'm gonna use the inside of my jacket so this is the time to use the inside just like to cover up the white thing so I'm gonna go ahead and I, I'm gonna go ahead and use my pro finish to close it no, I'm just like joining them together. Okay, if you want to make this jacket, don't use the satin. Don't use satin for the inside because like it's really not easy to work with satin because like it's really like it's out of control. It's not easy to manage it. It's not easy to manage satin. So like don't. Yeah, everything is set so what I did I literally like you know I literally close like everything this is my sleeve this is how it looks like now and that's the inside of it so like it's literally like 
all of them and yeah that's like literally everything so now i'm gonna join all the piece all the pieces together and after i'm gonna have to put the zipper and also do uh the collar but i will show you guys how i do that i'm gonna go ahead and sew the shoulders first then i will put the sleeve so you guys I already joined them together so after drawing them together this is how it looks like I'm gonna I'm just going to combine uh, my front and my back with my sleeve so like this is how I usually combine and then this time I'm gonna need my pins okay so I need like to find the center of this okay to find the center I'm just like analyzing you know a bit longer after pinning it this is how it looks like and what I would advise you is like when you want to sew just like get a fabric that you're comfortable using like you're comfortable with and then something like satin is just not a good idea it's not working at all so like yeah but like this is um, how it looks like so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my sewing machine to uh, um, stitch it or uh, the part that I've been pinning just like the two sleeve you know okay so like I'm almost done y'all I'm almost like at the end like right now I just like need this is, like everything together as you guys see just like this the inside of it pretty chic eh? and this is the outside and then now I just like need the zipper and uh, also my collar on top and the end of my sleeve like I need to like put some elastic here and put like band and all uh, and then after that will be done so I'm just gonna like measure my the top of my jacket like kind of to see like how long I need uh, the how long the, is it so like yeah Hey you guys, so what I did, this is my color, this is, uh, I already call my color, so what I did, I measured like for in, for the inside and also the black part, the inside of it, so yeah, so like three of them, this is what I have, so let me show you guys how I'm going to put uh, my color together, this is how I do it, the outside first, the inside of it, and the other inside so like you know do like a stitch all the way down and as you guys after this so now I'm just opening them that's how it's gonna be after opening so we all have the inside of it and hopefully you guys can see it So what I'm doing, I'm just pinning uh, all of them. So after that, this is how it looks like. My color is fixed on my... Uh, okay, I will definitely put some um, polyester inside. So now I'm going to use my serger to close this and also to stitch it and the edge of it. So far this is how the jacket looks like. So you guys I already search both parts. Just like cutting the thread that's gonna hanging all over. Okay, so you see the end, the inside, I mean the front of your jacket, right? So how you're going to put a zipper 
this is my zipper this is the right side you're gonna flip it I don't know if you guys can see it this is the right side this is the wrong side so I'm just like putting it like this and of course I'm gonna use some pin I love working with pin because I I feel like it's just the best I'm doing this all the way down Okay, now I'm going to do I'm going to uh, do the same thing on the other side and stitch it like all the way I mean both sides and then I see you guys after this and then my zipper as you guys see it's a bit longer what well, I'm gonna do this part down here I'm gonna uh, fold it yeah I think I'm just gonna fold it cause like this is how my zipper is now. Now it's literally uh I did what I told you guys, but if you see this is not don't do zipper like this, don't never do this, never leave your zipper this open because this is not presentable. What I'm gonna go, I, I mean what I'm gonna do, and then just the fact that this zipper is a bit longer, just like yeah, fold it like this, and so I'm gonna stitch both sides. And then while I'm stitching, you see this part on top? I'm gonna try to pull this down, drag this thing down. I mean inside. Just like put it in. And I need to like stitch it really nice so this thing is not gonna come out or this thing is not gonna... I'm gonna close my jacket down here. Like at the bottom. I'm gonna close this part. Because the zipper was way too long and I don't like it. So I'm just gonna close it like this. For this part, y'all, this is the sleeve. This is the end of my sleeve. So I'm just gonna do the same thing as I did with the collar. Stay tuned. Hey, you guys. This is finally the end of my jacket. I'm done. So like, I finished fixing the zipper, as you guys see right now. That's how my zipper is. It's gonna stop like here, cause I closed the bottom of it, so like it, it doesn't come out. Yeah, this is how my jacket looks like. Everything is pretty it's pretty nice now. Like it's done, finally done. It took me a while though. Cause I had like some situation with my sewing machine. There's literally elastic inside and it's a bit stretchy as you guys see so it can like actually fit on my wrist. Yeah, if I put my hand like if you make this, make sure you do this you do this. Try to put your hand inside because like it needs to fit, right? Your hand needs to actually come out. And then yeah, my jacket is done, everything is done, the inside is pretty chic as you guys see and the outside, ooh la la. Anyways, wait, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. That was Shiki and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!